What are we going to read today? Listen or read along with Miss Dupont. Find some place cozy and let's dive into one of our books in our collection about bullying. Bullies Never Win by Marjorie Culler, illustrated by Arthur Howard. Bullies Never Win. Dedicated for Sarah and Don Thomas, who are anything but bullies. MC. Jessica was a warrior. She worried day and night. She worried about her socks not matching and having knobbly knees and losing her breath and not doing well in school. But in Mr. Martin's first grade class, Jessica had a big worry. Brenda Bailey. Brenda was perfect. Her bangs were even. Her homework was always right. She wore a new outfit every day, and she scowled when Jessica did something better than she did. If Jessica got all of her homework right, Brenda would say, I bet you cheated, so Jessica hid her homework. If Jessica wore a new skirt to school, Brenda would say, Your legs look like toothpicks, so Jessica started wearing pants. If Jessica scored a kickball, Brenda would say, you were just lucky, so Jessica stopped playing kickball. Brenda never asked Jessica to sit with her at lunch. Instead, Brenda sat with her friends and Jessica sat alone. Jessica got tired of sitting by herself, so one day she tried sitting at Brenda's table. Look who's here, toothpick! Jessica's eyes started to sting. She blinked to keep from crying. She left the cafeteria without finishing her lunch. After school, Jessica went to her room. She stared at the wall. She worried. What terrible thing would Brenda say next? Jessica thought about Mr. Martin. He had told the class that sometimes bullies stop bullying if you just ignore them. But how could Jessica ignore a bully who was always in her face? At dinner, Dad asked, how was school? Jessica stared at her food. What's wrong? asked Mom. Nothing, said Jessica. That night, Jessica couldn't fall asleep. She squeezed her eyes shut and tried to count sheep, but instead she saw perfect little Brenda's leaping over the fence. The next morning, her eyes felt dry as sand and her stomach hurt. Can I stay home today? she asked Mom. Her mother felt her forehead. You don't feel hot. I have a stomach ache, said Jessica. I guess you are sick, said Mom. Go back to bed. Immediately, Jessica's stomach felt better. But she knew she couldn't avoid Brenda forever. So the following day, Jessica went to school. All morning, Jessica ignored Brenda. But at lunchtime, she discovered that Mom had packed her sandwich in Tom's lunchbox. She tried to shove it behind her back before Brenda could see, but she wasn't quick enough. Toothpick has a boy's lunchbox, Brenda said to everyone. Jessica's cheeks felt like chili peppers. How could Mom have made such a mistake? Come sit over here, called Anita. Jessica quickly sat down next to Anita and her friends. That Brenda is such a bully, said Anita. You should stand up to her. But Jessica couldn't. When she got home, Jessica told her mother, You packed my lunch in Tom's lunchbox. It's a boy's lunchbox. I was in a hurry, said Mom. I'm sorry. She paused. What difference does it make? Your lunch is still your lunch, no matter what it's packed in. It makes a big difference, said Jessica. And she burst into tears. This can't be just about lunchboxes, said Mom. It's about Brenda, said Jessica, hiccuping between sobs. She picks on me. She calls me toothpick. Today she cheats me about Tom's lunchbox. That's terrible, said Mom. Have you told her how you feel? No, cried Jessica. Then she really make fun of me. Why don't you talk to Mr. Martin, suggested Mom. If he knew that Brenda was bullying you, he'd do something about it. That night. Jessica tossed and turned. Should she talk to Mr. Martin? Should she stand up to Brenda? What could she say to her? Your bangs are ugly? Your knees are flat as pancakes? Your freckles look like pimples? 
The next morning, Brenda came up behind Jessica in the hallway. Toothpick! Brenda hissed. Jessica's heart began to pound. She thought about what her mother had said. She turned around and blurted, I'm going to tell Mr. Martin if you keep picking on me. Tattletale, said Brenda, and she stuck out her tongue and ran into the classroom. At lunch, Jessica sat with Anita again. Brenda was at the next table with all her friends. Hey, toothpick, called Brenda. Did you bring your brother's lunchbox again? No wonder you're so skinny. You eat baby food. Jessica stood up. Enough was enough. She put her hands on her hips. In a loud voice, she said, Toothpicks may be thin, but bullies never win. Brenda blushed. Her freckles turned pink. For once, she didn't say anything. Jessica threw back her shoulders and marched out of the cafeteria. At dinner, Laura asked, Did you stand up to that bully, Brenda? Why didn't she like my lunchbox? asked Tom. Pass the, the spaghetti, said Dad. How did things go? asked Mom. I don't think Brenda will pick on me anymore, said Jessica, but even if she does, I know what to do. Hooray for Jessica, said her family. Hooray for toothpicks, said Jessica. And that night, Jessica fell asleep without any more worries. I hope you enjoyed the story today. Join us again on the Mandy Story Storytime channel. We have more books about bullying. Here's the thinking question. What happens to our sleep when we have a problem or if we're worried about something? Happy reading!